Hi guys, welcome back to Brewer and Build. It's another lovely spring day here on the farm and I thought it was appropriate being spring and the farm to pull a, a, a Saison out of beer storage. A Saison was traditionally brewed by farmers uh, using whatever fermentables they had at the end of the summer. They'd then put it into storage for the winter and they'd bring it out the next summer uh, for the farm workers to drink, or so the story goes. Somewhere along the line, I think especially as home brewers, we've, we've started treating it a little bit like a dumping ground for fruits, spices, uh, herbs, all sorts of things. Which is a shame because uh, a, a fairly basic brewed Saison is absolutely delicious and uh, the yeast itself can bring out uh, tropical fruit flavours, it'll bring out banana, possibly clove, uh, there'll be herb notes in there, there'll be spicy notes, uh, it'll, it'll have pepper on the finish generally and it's, it is definitely one of the most expressive yeasts I think we, we use. The Saison I've got here I brewed somewhere sort of similar along the lines to a Saison de Pont and uh, I guess I'll, I'll run you through the recipe of how I've done it. So I've got uh, 3.1 kilo of Pilsner malt, uh, that'll give us a nice, well, good, easily fermentable, bready base to it. Uh, I've stuck in 250 grams of wheat malt, and that's essentially just there for head retention, mostly, anyway. Uh, I want this to have a, a bit of a malty sort of punch to it, or at least taste to it, so I've stuck in 200 grams of Munich malt, and that's what's giving it a, its real gold colour as well. Uh, along the malt note, I've stuck in 100 grams of honey malt. Uh, that'll give some malty taste, but it'll also leave a little bit of residual sweetness to it, which uh, the Saison will tend to, Saison yeast will tend to f ferment out generally. Uh, I've also got uh, 100 grams of my amber Belgian candy sugar. And that'll give it uh, a little bit more caramelliness. It will also help to ferment it down uh, to a reasonably dry finish. But it will it will leave a little bit of sugary sweetness there, as Belgian candy sugar tends to. For hops, I've gone with 20 grams of Fuggles at the 60-minute mark. I've put in 16 grams of East Kent Goldings, and that's going in with 10 minutes to run on the boil. And then uh, 15 grams of Styrian Goldings is going into the Whirlpool. The yeast I'm using, I'm sticking with the uh, Saison Dupont yeast strain, so I've gone for White Labs WLP565 Belgian Saison yeast. Uh, that's probably enough talking. Uh, I'll cut you through to the kitchen and we'll catch up on the brew process and then we'll come back, open it up, see what it tastes like.
this has been about three weeks in fermentation I can see with the light coming through the door there that it's it's pretty clear it seems to have dropped reasonably clear I've rigged up a simple hole system here uh, I'm going to just gravity transfer this uh, the uni tank I have purged with CO2 and it's ready to transfer so all I'll do is I'll just open the taps I'll get the gravity transfer going on it and then I'll haul it up a little bit higher just so I get a bit better flow Well that's everyone caught up with the process up to bottling and uh, I think we should open this up, have a look at it and uh, see what it tastes like. Well, the pour went well. It's well carbonated. Uh, it's absolutely crystal clear. I can I can see the blades of grass through that glass. Uh, the bubbles are rising up nicely, and it's it's holding a nice head because of that. And the head on it uh, is is just it's almost an iridescent white colour, uh, and I, I think that's that's mainly from the wheat malt I put in it. The smell of it. It's, it's fruity, it's got that tropical smell, uh, tropical fruit smell. It's got a little bit of banana to it there. I wouldn't say I'm picking up any clove out of that particularly. But you can also smell the, 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 the herbally spicy smell that you, you recognize from a Saison yeast. How does it taste, of course? The first thing that's noticeable, it's super clean. It's that's that's a super clean beer. But the flavours that come through first, you get you get that tropical fruit come through. Uh, you get a little bit of banana note there. Then it goes herbally. You you get those saison herbal flavours. The, the maltiness from the, the Munich is definitely showing through there. And there's, there's some sweetness as well, which is, is obviously from the honey malt. And I would say the caramel probably from the, the Belgian candy sugar as well. Right at the end, as an, as an aftertaste and, and lingering into an aftertaste, come those peppery notes and those real spicy peppery notes that you, you get from Saison. That's, that's a, a beautiful beer that is. Um, I'd like to brew them at the beginning, at the end of summer and, and age them through winter because they do get better with age. Um, I just like them so much it's very hard to keep them that long. We just end up drinking them. I, I would say if you haven't brewed a straightforward Saison for a while, then get to it because that's, that is one of the most complex beers uh, and complex flavoured beers I've had in a long time. And that's without any fruit or citrus zest or spices in it. Well, until next time I guess guys, enjoy brewing and uh, life's good, drink more beer.